Hello students, uh, Ipa 10th standard le, lesson 1 in geography. Let's see what are all the map questions that are asked. There are a lot of things that are asked. For example, the major mountain ranges, then you have the major rivers and major plateaus. Now, let us see how we are going to plot all this in the outline map of India. Let us get started with the first question. The first question is Karakoram. These are ranges. Ranges now, they are continuous mountains that are there. Okay. So, generally you can either draw a line like this or make it little thick. So, the location of Karakoram is this. The next question was Ladakh. Ladakh range. So, just below this Karakoram is where you get the Ladakh range. And the third one is uh, Jaskar. So, here. So, make it little thick. So, after marking these, you have to write. Actually, individually you can write. Let us write Karakoram. Then the second one is Ladakh. And the third is Jaskar. So, we have marked these three ranges. Uh, there are other questions also which are asked. For example, many times they have asked Palmer Knot. Palmer Knot is situated here. So, it's a knot, right? So, you have to draw like this. Divide. Palmer Knot. This is actually range of hills which are in the formation of a knot. Knot Podrola Anamadriyirka. Then another question that is asked is Kailash range. You must have heard of Kailash. It's the abode of Lord Shiva, isn't it? So, here is Kailash range. So, when it comes to North India, the first few ranges that are very important are Karakoram. Next is Ladakh. The third one is Jaskar. And in last year, they've been asking this question, which is Palmer Knot. And uh, another range that is important is Kailash range. So, in the Ertala Erikara, all textbook and other important questions we have covered. The next question that they've asked from the book is Aravali range. So, Aravali range is in Rajasthan. We have the Thar Desert here, no? Just outside it, you can mark this. So, this is Aravali range. Then, apart from this, they have asked Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats, for which we have to come down to the peninsular area. So, when it comes to Western Ghats, it's a more continuous range. There are just few gaps that are there. So, many children, what they'll do is, uh, they'll just draw it on the coastline. So, this is called as coastline. Say, so this is land and this is water, isn't it? So, you should not draw it on the coast. You should draw it slightly away from the coast. Coast with thalli varena. So, it is Western Ghats, they are more continuous. When it comes to Eastern Ghats, they are not so continuous. You have lots of gaps here. Especially in the rivers, there is a lot of gap. So, if you draw uh, Eastern Ghats, it's like this. So, let's name them now. Eastern Ghats. So, this is Western Ghats. Let's turn the book and write easily. Aravalli could name Panama Vitido. Let's name that. So, in the mountains, Samandama, they will ask some peaks. So, from the important peaks, one day and then Mount K2. Mount K2. This is very important. Then world's highest peak is Mount Everest. That is in India. Next to Sikkim and actually it is in Nepal. Okay. So let us mark this. Mount Everest. Next you have Mount Abu which is one of the highest peaks here. Aravalli range la you have Mount Abu. So, Ipo Inu one. Uh, Nilgiri is uh, uh, the highest peak in the Western Ghats is Dodabeta or Nilgiri. So, oh, this is the one. Dodabeta. So, in the Mari symbol, you have to give a triangle and shade it fully. So, whether they ask a hill or a peak, the highest peak or highest uh, mountain, it is all this. So, let's get started from top. Palmer Knot, then we have Karakoram and Mount K2, then we have Ladakh. Then Jaskar. Here we have Kailash Range. Then Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world. 
Then coming to this side, we have the Aravalli range and Mount Abu. Then Western Ghats. Western Ghats comes in peninsula region. So always remember not to put it on the coast, little away. So it is discontinuous range. And when it comes to Eastern Ghats, it's still lot of gaps are there. And another peak is Dodda Beta. So now we have the map the first question. We have attempted it. In our separate, you can see the map. It is very clear. In the exam, we have to ask the question. They will combine all the questions and ask. But still, if you do it separately like this, this will be very easy for you. I hope you found this video very interesting. Thank you children. See you in the next video.